The Paris Principles are the UN guidelines that set out the minimum standards required for national human rights institutions to operate efficiently and be considered credible. The guidelines were developed in Paris in 1991 at a meeting where representatives of national human rights institutions from all parts of the globe were brought together to define the core attributes that all new or existing institutions should have. The UN General Assembly later endorsed the guidelines, and since then, the number of national human rights institutions has increased from a handful to more than 100 worldwide. According to the Paris Principles, there are six main criteria for a national human rights institution to operate efficiently. A broad mandate based on universal human rights standards, including the responsibility to promote and protect human rights and combat all forms of discrimination. Autonomy from government Independence guaranteed by the constitution or national legislation Adequate powers of investigation Pluralism, including through membership and or effective cooperation and adequate human and financial resources. The competence of the national human rights institutions, as described in the Paris Principles, can be grouped under five headings. Monitor and report. A national human rights institution can publish reports and recommendations on any human rights violation it decides to take up. It can submit reports to the government, parliament and other authorities on issues that concern the promotion and protection of human rights. National human rights institutions can contribute to and also express their opinions on reports submitted by the state to the UN and regional bodies. Advise government and parliament. National human rights institutions can advise government, parliament and other public or private bodies on human rights, both on request and on their own initiative. They can also alert access and advise the government in relation to human rights violations in the country. National human rights institutions can examine and recommend changes to their state's legislation, regulation and practices to ensure that these are harmonized with international human rights standards. Cooperate on international, regional and national level. National human rights institutions have a clear mandate to interact with the UN and other international organizations regional bodies, international and national civil society organizations, and other national institutions. Educate and inform. National human rights institutions should help formulate and execute programs for human rights education and research. Handle complaints. Some national human rights institutions also have an optional quasi-judicial competence. This includes the handling and investigation of individual complaints and petitions. The Paris Principles do not dictate a specific form. National human rights institutions can therefore come in different shapes and sizes, but the most common forms are commissions, advisory institutes, ombudsman offices and public defenders offices. Because of the diversity in institutions and contexts, the mandates and powers of national human rights institutions can vary quite a lot, but they all work to promote and protect human rights.